and welcome to the 28th installation of my video log here on my channel on YouTube. This video is a one year special of our electric car, the Renault Twizy. Let me take you on a ride with our Twizy and discuss the pros and cons of this uh, cute little car. Thank you for having me. This is much more comfortable than I thought. You're welcome. Glad to have you here. Let's start with the first question. How old is your Twizy by now? Our Twizy is now one year old. Uh, that's why we are doing the special, you know. And how many miles did you drive so far? The Twizy has about 2,000 miles on the clock. Uh, we're mainly using it uh, in and around Cologne, so we're not using it to do uh, cross-country traveling. Are you happy with the car? Oh yes, very much so. Um, it's fun to drive and it does everything I needed to do. It can even carry uh, the shopping home. So yes, I'm quite happy with the car. What's the Twizy's range? The real life range of a Twizy is about 40 miles. Um, give and take, it does depend on uh, winter and wind and everything, but roughly uh, 40 miles is a safe assumption. And in winter? Good question. Better is neither like heat or cold, but cold is much more prevalent uh, here where we live. So if the temperature drops below uh, 30 Fahrenheit, um, the range goes down to uh, 30 miles. So yes, if it's really cold outside, you want to recalculate your distance. Where do you recharge it? We're quite fortunate to have a fixed parking space in our underground garage. And there we have what's called a wall box, which is basically a glorified plug uh, on uh, the wall where we can charge the Twizy whenever needed, uh, mostly overnight. And then we pay for it with our normal household electricity bill. What's it with Twizy and doors? Yes, that's the first thing people ask. Um, doors for the Twizy. Uh, you can buy the Twizy entirely without doors. Or, uh, like ours, have uh, half height doors, um, but there is no option to actually fully close it up. Um, this has something to do with uh, there being no ventilation. So, since there is no ventilation, there is no heating system in the Twizy, um, you cannot have fully closing doors. Um, yeah, so you have, either have to live entirely without doors or with. Uh, the half height doors that we have. So, what happens to you when it's raining? Yes, driving to a Twizy exposes you to the elements. So if it's raining outside, it's also wet inside. It's surprisingly not that wet, but uh, still, if it's raining, you get wet. And when it's really cold outside? There's no protection from the cold. Um, so yes, when it's cold outside, it's cold inside. So you have to dress accordingly. And I usually, in winter, I drive with a scarf, uh, a hat and uh, gloves, like you would on a bicycle. Honest answer. Would you buy it again? Ooh, that's a difficult question. Um, if it was 2016, uh, yes, I would buy it again. Uh, it's fun to drive and I really like it. Um, but there are alternatives now um, coming in, in 2019. Um, for example, the Ego, uh, which is manufactured here in Aachen, which is a real alternative, um, comes with a, a comparable price performance range than, uh, ratio than the Twizy has. Um, but it's a, it's a car, not a quarry cycle. Um, and uh, it's fully covered, so yes, um, in 2016 I think the Twizy was the best option. Um, come 2019, uh, I think there are good alternatives. Are there other alternatives in 2018? There are a number of other upcoming electric cars, not only the Ego. For example, there is the, the Cyan from Sono Motors. Um, which claims to be to be able to recharge itself uh, from the sun. So yeah, um, there's a lot of small uh, utilitarian cars 
I would say, um, that are entirely electric and that are coming uh, this year, next year, and the years to come. So yeah, watch this space. There will be many, many alternatives. But that does not kind of belittle the Twizy. I mean, it's the grandfather of all these. Uh, it's, it's now available worldwide. And uh, like I said before, it is fun to drive. Do you have second thoughts on giving up a proper cart? Yes, admittedly, sometimes when it's really cold and raining outside, uh, I've just missed the tram. The next drive now is many blocks away. Then I sometimes think, oh, how nice would it be to have a car in the basement that has heating? Uh, but I get over it. Anything else you want to talk about? Something you found out during this year? Yes, there's something that I found out uh, in the last year. Um, and it has to do with uh, noise inside of the, of the Twizy. Um, it actually can be rather noisy, which uh, I thought shouldn't be because it doesn't have uh, an engine, so to speak of. Um, but it does have a proper drivetrain and uh, in that drivetrain is a gearbox. And what I found out or reading um, Twizy forums is that Renault puts in a different oil than what the original equipment manufacturer specifies. Uh, and people claim that by replacing the gearbox oil, um, the drive becomes much smoother and uh, the noise goes down. So when the Twizy went to its first inspection um, a couple of weeks ago, I asked the garages to replace the gearbox oil with the one the OEM specifies and yes it works the ride is much much smoother and the noise level has gone down um i leave the links uh, down in the description where do you see the future of mobility i believe that if you want to think mobility uh, for the next couple of decades i believe that we need to uh, do so without the concept of an individually owned car um my personal belief is that at least for the inner cities um, there will be a public trans mix of public transport and uh, autonomous drive shared cars. Um, so if I need to go to work, if I need to do my daily commute, um, I go outside, I ha hail one of the cars, it takes me to wherever I need to and uh, then goes on to the next customer. Um, thus reducing enormously the amount of cars on the road, um, the amount of cars overall and uh, still give us the same individual mobility that we uh, apparently can't live without. Um, public transport alone, I don't think uh, um, will we'll cut it. Uh, individual transport alone will most definitely not cut it. So uh, I think we'll need a good mix of both and have high hopes for um, autonomous uh, cars and uh, of course electric cars. Um, there's no need to continue to use the scarce resources of oil um, to propel our cars forward. And there we are, almost back home. Thanks a lot for the drive. Same here. Thanks a lot for joining. Thanks a lot for staying with us uh, until the end of the vlog. Uh, thanks a lot for staying with us until now. I hope you did like the small video. If you did, please do leave me a like, subscribe and comment and you'll find all the links to the social media down in the description box below. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.